So let me now summarize by talking about our most recent cutting edge research. And I'm gonna erase this from here. Um, go to cutting edge research. There's several things we're doing. One is more research on phosphorus to really understand what the adequate levels are without being excessive. And we're now looking at several different types of genetics to see if there's interactions of genetics, meaning cultivars, with phosphorus level. So far, we haven't found any, but we're still looking. Another big area of research for us is copper. Copper is an essential micronutrient. We always put it in fertilizers, but if we can elevate copper a little bit, it's a very potent fungicide. And if we elevate copper in the root zone, it can really reduce pythium and fusarium in the root zone. We recently published a paper with lettuce and tomatoes, and we found that lettuce cannot tolerate elevated copper, but tomatoes can. So this is a published referee journal article. We've now shown that cannabis is like tomatoes. It can take high levels of copper. So we're exploring how high and what are the effects on uh, diseases. Um, there's evidence that high levels of copper do inhibit disease. So we're looking to put more copper into the root zone. Now, if we can bind the copper on peat and coconut choir, that looks to be particularly effective. But if you're growing in Grodan, you can put elevated levels of copper into the solution. Not too elevated, because if they get too high, there's a problem. But we typically put copper into the root zone at just a fraction of a part per million. And if we can jump that to, say, four parts per million, th that's like 10 times elevated, and it's still not at all toxic to the cannabis plant. So these are examples of precision fertilization that we're working carefully on to improve yield and quality and disease resistance, particularly of cannabis. I might say one thing in conclusion. I've never seen a crop that can tolerate such high nutrient levels. Many people put on lots and lots of all kinds of nutrients, and those same levels of nutrients would cause big toxicity symptoms in most of our crops, not in cannabis. We put on high levels of fertilizer and the plant still looks good. But here's the key. If we go to low levels of nutrients, the plant also looks good. We didn't waste fertilizer. We didn't harm the environment. And those high levels are not necessary just because they were tolerated. So that's the concept of precision nutrition. We're excited about the future of cannabis research, and we look forward to working with Athena for a long time to refine this. Thanks for listening.